Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Geo Traders. My name is Taryn. Let's do some red black vehicles. Alright, guys, just gonna go into the tournament practice and see what we can do with red black vehicles. I lost the die roll. That's not a good sign for me. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. We got two mana. None of it's none of it's red. We do have a card of Kieran and Scrap Peep though, so it's almost worth keeping. Um, but I'm gonna mulligan that. Now we have too much mana, but we do have Yahini, so is it worth it to keep this? I'm gonna say no. Okay, two mana, Yahini, unlicensed. I think we'll keep this. We just need one more mana, we'll be fine. One, one more what? <laughs> I'll put that on top, cool. So we have a turn two. The mulligans were not kind to us that time, so. Master of Inquiries. I'm just gonna play a tap land, pass the turn. Is this a mill deck? That would be amazing. Let's get out of scrap heap here. Pass the turn. Milling yourself, I gotcha. Interesting. Playing out of scrap heap. We got a glory bringer coming on. Let's go out for an attack here. He probably won't block at all. Nope. Gonna save that shock. Uh, probably for the scrap heap scrounger here. Mm hmm. You looking for delirium? Is that what you're doing? Gonna kill that guy because he has so many creatures in his graveyard now. Scrap heap will be a problem. Would really like some mana, and he's having the same problem. So, <laughs> gonna block. All right, now we got two creatures who can't block. They're just gonna swing for three each turn. <laughs> what we got? Another scrap heap. Three mana. Swinging out for six. Well, the village messenger isn't too bad. Swinging out for four. His turn. Swinging out for six again. It's gonna be a bloodbath back and forth. Let's see. Yep, didn't do anything, so that gets to flip. Still no mana. This guy's staying up. But if you have a kill spell, I'm dead. Yep. Down to two. No mana, but I do get a blocker. That's still game, though. Let's go to concede match. Go to sideboard. Let's take out the shocks. Put in magma sprays. Let's take out. Or put in, rather. Dust Stalker, take out Sky Sovereign, and a Yehenny. I like that. What do we got for round two? Would you like to play first? Yes, I would. No red mana. It's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? I'm gonna mulligan that. We get one red heart and a dust. We'll keep that. I'll put that on top because we have a heart and a stalker here. It's not a colorless creature though, so that's gonna be one issue. Excellent hit okay on that. <laughs> got to talking. There's your one mana play. Let's get my play out there. Pass turn. What you got for me? Black mana. Crypt Breaker. Interesting. Luckily for me, I'm not going to play any spells this turn, so my guy will flip. Yep. Mail himself through a Grasp of Darkness and a Minister of Inquiries in the graveyard there. Not too bad for me. Yeah. Let's see. Moonrise Intruder flips to a 2 2 with Menace. Your turn. My Dust Stalker can get out on the following turn. Sweet. 5 3 with Haste. Swing out with a 2 2 with Menace and a 5 3. Do we have a Grasp of Darkness in hand? Or are we just going to discard for a. 2-2 two, two zombie. Yeah, gonna kill Minister of Inquiries here if I do that. Yeah, that's fine. Another Crypt Breaker, Prized Amalgam. The best play for Dust Stalker is usually to crew the Heart of Kieran and swing out in the air. I just wanted to see if he would do anything to create a 2-2 two, two and a Minister of Inquiries so I can get those in the graveyard. Yep, not sure why you wouldn't discard to, you know, create a 2-2, two, two, but okay. Yahini, gonna swing out. Gonna keep Yahini up for a blocker, unless you grasp of darkness, is it? Haunted Dead. Yep, there you go. That's a lot of creatures. Okay. What to kill? Prize Amalgam is probably the pick here. Dwarf Intro Trader is also good. I'm going to keep that up for a while. Let's see if I kill something, though. I can actually have Yehini Crew Heart of Kirin and start swinging out in the air. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to kill this Infiltrator. For three mana, he has quite a big board state. Yep. Let's see. I'm going to keep Heart up for a blocker on this turn only, and then if we draw into some more removal, I will uh, attack out with him. But now, if uh, he attacks in, I will, you know, sack Moon, Moonrise Intruder, make Yehini indestructible, and uh, kill one of the, uh, you know, walkers. Yep. Draw a card, lose a life. Black Blue Zombies. Hmm. Got you an Aether Hub out of that. Nice. Let's see another Crypt Breaker. No attacks. Well, I'm going to be coming in. Let's see. 5 4 indestructible. Going to make Yehini a 4 4 now. Mm hmm. Very nice. Grasp of Darkness still hits Yehini, so it's going to be a. Uh, Anybody's game at this point. Now, if he does do that, I'll just crew with Heart of Kirin on this turn. 
Uh, he'll do that to uh, Hazard, I see. That is the bigger threat. Let's see, I'm gonna keep that in my hand. I do wanna get in. Hmm, let's see, I'm at 19, so three, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get in for four here on the ground. The reason I'm doing it on the ground, so I'm gonna probably, if he blocks, I'll sack Moon Rise Intruder and have him be a 5-5 five, five, so he can't be Grasp of Darkness. Mm-hmm. Yep, make him indestructible. Mm-hmm. Yep, that is correct. Okay, so we have two, five, six, seven, eight coming at me if he attacks in this turn. Yeah, he'll attack with at least something. Yep. So I just need to draw a removal or a creature. Very nice. Let's get in for five here. Darren Pariah in this deck. Interesting. This deck goes wide. Sweltering Sun sideboarded it in. Should have been a uh, must-do, but I didn't put it in here, did I? Nope. Sacrifice three creatures. Yep. Let's see. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's the game. Good game. All right. Let's do one more round in here. Hmm. Two mana. Scrappy Scrounger. Glory Bringer. Heart of Kirin, Forerunner of Slaughter, Hazarat. I like this because I'm kind of low to the ground at the beginning, so let's uh, let's keep that. I can play three cards in the hand, so I think I'll be all right. Definitely going to play uh, Heart, then Scrap Peep. Pass the turn. Anointer Priest. This is the uh, Anointed Processions deck. Let's see, Heart. Drew a Village Messenger. That's nice. So if we draw into another mana, we can get out a Village Messenger and a Scrap Heap following turn. Sacred Cat gonna look for a land three color lands hit me for one not a problem alrighty let's see hit okay for me please unlicensed gotcha All right, let's just get out a scrap heap and then we'll just start crewing and swinging at your face the thing about the Anointed processions deck is that if you do not destroy their creatures they have no tokens to generate most of the time uh, on like you know anointed priest or sacred cat things like that so that's how they gain life um, once he hits four mana he will probably play out his anointed procession oh tap land will not get to this turn, but he probably will swing out for two, since he knows I'm be just swinging in the air. Nope. Okay. No problem. No land still. Let's see. I'm going to go with a Forerunner of Slaughter here. Yeah, let's do that. Crew. And then we'll just swing for seven. He will probably block the Scrap Heap here. Um, I'm hoping to kill the Anointer Priest. If he does that, he may just kill the Sacred Cat, or block with Sacred Cat. Exile, non-land permanent. Gotcha. Anguished Unmaking. At least no life gain was had, and it uh, takes, you know, four mana to bring him back. So, Anointed Procession. There we go. There's his play. Smoldering Marsh. Let's see. Let's get out a Yehini here. It most likely be a 3-3 three because three he'll just block here. Swing out for five. Yep. Got two 3-3s. Three Anointed Procession. So he may Sacred Cat, or he will Anointed Priest. That will gain him two life, I believe. Or he'll just Gideon. Yeah, create two 2-2s. Two Let's see what we can do against that. Mana. Hmm. Let's see. I can do Hazret, uh, which won't do anything. I can do Unlicensed Disintegration to kill one, swing in. Let's see. Let's do that. Yep. Puts a counter on him, so he's a 4-4 four -four now. I'm getting to put out a Village Messenger, and uh, all this goes to Gideon. And basically, there's no way he can't die this turn, so he'll block this guy to at least kill him. Yeah, but Gideon dies. He turns into a 5-5, five -five, and there we go. <laughs> cool. Four mana. Anointer Priest is probably the next play, unless he has something in his hand he wants to play out. Maybe another Gideon. Usually Gideons come in pairs. <laughs> That's been my experience anyway. Sacred Cat. Cryptolith Rites. Yeah, an Embalm Sacred Cat. Gotcha. Well, it's been fun. Whoop, crap. Let's get out Glorybringer here. <laughs> Just oppressive. Gonna attack and exert. Let's see. Gonna kill the real one. You got two blockers now. And if you block with both, he'll become an 8-8. Yep, it's gonna kill one of my guys, but that's not a big deal. Four damage. He's now an 8-8 eight, eight and a 4-4, four, four. so he does have Anguish and Making in his main board, so I'm kind of expecting something like that maybe again. Besides that, um, the next turn if we draw into a land or a village messenger, we can get out a Hazarat and play him for haste. Attacking. Yep, there's another Sacred Cat. Let's see. Scrap Heap. Hmm. Let's play out this Scrap Heap and then we'll animate the other Scrap Heap. Just going to attack out for 8. He'll just have to block. He's a 9-9 nine, nine now. And he gets big quick. Aw. Let's see, I'm going to sack a permanent. Yep, luckily we did the scrap heap instead of a hazard there. And then this following turn, Glorybringer will be untapped, and uh, we'll swing out again. Anointed Priest should be the play here. Um, he does have two cards in hand, so maybe an 
anguished in making for something. Maybe a planar outburst. Not really sure what he can do. Yep. So he gains four life from that. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess I have to play a hazard right now. Let's see. Going to go to uh, combat. Going to exert and kill one of the anointer priests. Yep. He's a 10-10 now. Yep. Keep in mind, uh, this is the last time he can uh, embalm anything from his graveyard. So he's definitely uh, on a tight leash. Yep. All right, let's go to sideboard. Mm. I like shocks here, but because of uh, annoying possession, let's put in sweltering suns instead. Uh, Lost Legacy is also good in this matchup, so let's get out that. Let's get out one Hazaret, and then let's get out. Let's see, Magma Spray is also very good in this matchup. I like Magma Spray over Fatal Push uh, because it exiles the creature. Get out one of the Lost Legacies. Just have two. I think that's okay. And one Fleet Roll Cruiser. I think that's good. There we go. All right, round two. Let's see what our opening hand is. Let's see if it's better than uh, the last game. Uh, no black mana. But we do have a Magma Spray and a Village Messenger and a Scrap Heap Scrounger. So this is... Mm, I hate not keeping ma hands that do not have both mana. But I like this hand because it keeps the pressure on. So if he plays out like a turn one cat or something... Nope, he's not going to. But if he played out a turn one cat, I could have Magma Sprayed. So Magma Spray is going to kill everything except for Anointer Priest uh, in this kind of matchup. Let's see. I'm going to draw into a uh, Yohini. Get out a Village Messenger and a hit for one. Okay. All right. Let's see if he uh, plays a spell this following turn. Would like him not to. <laughs> Honestly. Hidden stockpile. Foreboding ruins. Sweet. Let's see. Let's get out the uh, scrounger here. Gonna attack for one. He's getting his board set up, so luckily we drew into some mana that's black. Gonna be playing out probably a hinny the following turn. Unless he plays something that needs to be dealt with with magma spray. Not too sure. What you got? Sacred cat. One of the best things against this deck is Yahini because he likes his creatures dying for a uh, hidden stockpile and embalm and annoying procession and all that kind of stuff. So something to keep in mind for sure. Let's get out a Yahini. Just start swinging out again. He may double block to try and kill Yahini early, um, or not take anything at all. He'll just take it directly to the face. All right, do that three more times. <laughs> Four mana, looking at annoying processions probably. Catacomb Sifter, building that board state. Don't have a way to do that. Um, okay, so we can do Forerunner of Slaughter here. I can give it haste, or I can Magma Spray something. Let's do that on one of the Sacred Cats. Oh, because it's exiled, it doesn't trigger Yehini. Swing out for this again. We'll use the Messenger as a sack outlet for Yehini. Yep, becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Following turn, we'll do Fleetwheel Cruiser. Yeah, let's see, uh, annoying procession. Another Catacomb Shifter. Sifter, not Shifter. Sacred Cat. Sweltering Suns would clear the entire board. That would be nice. Mountain. Let's go for uh, Anointed Procession here. He's got a Westville Abbey in hand. Mmm, he's trying to... He's waiting to play it. It's going to hurt me this following turn. Oof. He may block with something, but... Having Westville Abbey in hand with him having more than five creatures on the board, uh, <laughs> that's probably a game for me. There's very very little I can do about uh, Westville Abbey. Yeah, he's going to go to five because of that. Yeah, there's Westville. Now, Yukini will, uh, I believe gain all of these. Yep. Everything but a catacomb shifter. I actually think I can survive this. If he attacks out with Ormondal this turn, I'll attack him with a 3-8-3 three, three, and a fleet will. So he'll be at 14. I can hit him for 11. Dang it. Oh, he creates a 1-1 one, one from that too. Hmm. Interesting. I'm pretty sure he has it. He'll take 6 and lose 2 creatures. But if he attacks out this turn, I have him. So he just needs to figure out a way to uh, get some blockers on the board. What do we got? Gideon. Dusk. Oh, snap. Okay. Yep. Luckily, Scrap Heap can come back from that. I wouldn't do it. Okay. We're kind of at a stalemate here. So if I attack out with Yahini, uh, he can definitely block it um, and gain nine life. So put him at 15. Or if I attack out with the Fleet Will, he'll go down to one, which will go back up to 10. That's if he blocks. If he doesn't block the following turn, he'll go up to 15, and I can hit him down for 15. But that's if he doesn't have a creature to play. He's looking for uh, what was he, power two or less, so that's catacomb shifters. I want to say he has this, because I can't, if I attack out, it's not going to do anything but gain him life. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck. So he'll just dawn this turn, correct? That's five mana. And then uh, the following turn, he'll do something. Yeah. Yep, that is correct. So foreboding ruin. If I had drawn Hazaret, it would've, this would have been a different story. Actually, no, it would have been the same. Well, no, it wouldn't have. It would, we would have out of one. Yeah, we're still at a stalemate. He'll play out his creatures his turn and attack. He does have a shambling vent as well, so that is something to keep in mind. But I'm thinking he's just going to do a catacomb shifter, yeah, which creates two blockers. And he'll attack out, and if I don't draw a kill spell or a board wipe spell, that's game. Ormondal's hard to deal with, for sure. <laughs> I do not like it. 
one bit. All right, let's see. You're going to attack out with your nine in the air. Makes sense. Heart of the cards. Uh, I would like a Sweltering Suns, please. Oh, no Sweltering Suns. That's game. Hmm, what do I add? Let's say Shocks. I like to add Shocks. Let's take out Hazarets here. Let's put the Fatal Push back in. We definitely want to try and crowd control so we don't Ormondal again. So let's do Fleetwell Cruisers out. Uh, two more cards. One unlicensed. Let's get out one, sh one Shock. All right, yes, I would like to play first. Let's see, three lands, two Sweltering Suns, Glorybringer, Heart of Cure, no thank you. One land, Messenger, Push, Forerunner, Scrap Heap. Hmm. Man, I'm just getting like unlucky. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna keep that. Thank you. All right, I can play everything in my hand now. Sweet. Let's get out a village messenger, and we'll just swing in for one here. All right. Pass turn. What do we got? What do we got? We got a scattered grove. Pass and turn. Yeah. Flip that werewolf. Let's play that out. Let's play a scrappy scaranger, and then we'll swing out for two. Two in the face. So the following turn, if we draw into some mana, we can do Forerunner and then give it haste and then swing out. Oh, he did not hit his second land drop. No, he did. Okay. People are weird. Like, I play my lands first, but, you know, let's get rid of that Sacred Cat with a Magma Spray. And then we'll just get in with the five. Almost had three. <laughs> and we're holding up a Fatal Push as well, so whatever he plays next, I can just get out of here. This is a Catacomb Sifter. I can kill uh, its token it spawns, though. Yep. Yes. Because if he blocks, he can't block them. the... Moonrise Intruder because it has a menace, but he can block the Scrappy Scrounger, uh, but they would just trade. So I'm okay with that idea. Swamp, get out a Forerunner, give it haste, swing out for eight. Blocking the <clears throat> either Forerunner or Scrap Heap. Either way, uh, you'll trade. Yep, and that feeds into Scrap Heap if he tries to kill it later in the game, so I'm okay with that. So he's at seven, and I have another Forerunner in my hand, so I can play that out for haste damage. The following turn, Westfell Abbey. Oh, so cute this early in the game. <laughs> All right, let's see. Cliptorith, Cliptolith writes. If he doesn't play a creature, he's dead, though. Yeah, he's dead. Nice knowing you. Yep. Do you have a removal spell? That's eight damage. You do. No problem. Four cards in hand. What you got? Mm-hmm. Three cards. Maybe a Gideon. Hmm. That doesn't seem promising. Is that a game? Oh, what's going to suck is that I can do this. Yep. <laughs> and that kills you regardless. All right. Cool. Good game. Alrighty. Well, that is it for this video. Uh, I'm probably going to do two more videos with this deck. Uh, like the video if you liked it, leave a comment below on what you thought of the deck, and I will see you in the next video.